Hi, I'm Chef Amy Hoagie, and I'm here to teach you how to play with food, where I take a classic recipe, change it up a little bit to create a whole new dish. Today I'm playing with pancakes, and we're actually going to be making a peanut butter pancake with some evaporated milk instead of the classic buttermilk, which is what you normally use in a pancake. So I'm going to start out with a cup of flour. I'm just using white flour. You can use... Uh, you want to be careful. If you add too heavy of a flour, then they're really thick and heavy and the kids won't eat it. This makes about, this is like pancakes for two, this recipe here. I've got about two tablespoons of regular sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and then I have, let's see, one tablespoon of melted butter, Go ahead and mix that up. Always want to mix up your dry ingredients first before adding too much of the liquid. Whoops, I, I flip it out a little bit. Then this is about a 12 ounce can. I'm only going to add a little less than half of the evaporated milk in here. Then while I'm doing that, I'm going to whip up my egg. I'm going to beat up our egg here a little bit more. So that's sometimes you buy this on sale at the holidays. Here's a way to use it up. One egg. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up lightly. Folding. Scraping the sides. Folding. And then I've got some peanut butter here. Okay. This, I melted this a little bit in the microwave so it makes it easier to mix up. This is about, gosh, about a quarter of a cup of peanut butter. You don't want to add too much because then it's going to mess around because it's a baking thing. It'll mess around with the, the liquid balance here. Okay. That's going to fall right over and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and fold it in. Now, the reason why you want to fold it in is you want to keep the air here in your pancake. These are going to be a lot fluffier than the ones you get in the store from a, a mix. And that peanut butter kind of wants to clump up. So you want to just mix it a little bit in there. Nice. Okay. My egg is being a stinker. Let me get this. Okay. There you go. Don't mix too much. Back away from the bowl. It's supposed to be a little thick, a little lumpy. We're good to go. I'm going to take my scoop. This is my batter scoop or my cupcake scoop. Ooh, and let me spray this pan. I've got my griddle here, preheated to about 350. If you're cooking it on the stove, you want it about medium, medium high heat. Not too high, not too low. And then I'm gonna take this, which it is kind of thick. That's a nice thick little guy there. There we go. It makes, like I said, about six to eight pancakes. There we go. We're going to let them cook about probably two to three minutes on each side. All right, here we go. I kind of flattened them out a little bit. They were kind of thick and then I kind of smashed them down. So that's why I got them a little bit bigger. Here we go. And this might even be good with a little chocolate chips on top or a little chocolate syrup if you want to do that. But here's your peanut butter pancakes with evaporated milk. I'm Chef Amy Hoagie. Thank you for joining me. For more information, you can visit me at my website at Chef Amy, that's with two E's, dot com.